Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. And last video, we pretty much doubled our Sarah KC. We went from about 250 KC to about 500 KC. Because we are currently hunting the God Sword Blade, we have shards 1 and 2 and the second shard 1. Um, so we can build the stash unit with the Banos Plate Body, Banos Cloak, and Banos God Sword. And we will free up four slots in the looting bag if we can get that God Sword Shard 3. So the main goal of this video is going to be hunting that God Sword Shard 3. Last video, I just randomly showed myself alking a God Sword Shard. Turns out, I accidentally cut out this clip right here. So, my bad, I'm sorry. One more thing I also want to mention before we carry on is that this video was recorded in February. And if the vids weren't pre-recorded way in advance, there would have been only one video a month for the last couple months, and uh, you'll see why in the next video. Anyways, here is the rest of the clip. <laughs> oh, it's not the one we need. You know what, though? This is good because that will be another sacrifice to mod mark. <laughs> Except this time we're not going to keep this third blade. We're going to... Are we going to alk that? It's a 160k... G -E and a 150k ALK value, dang. Um, unfortunately, or I guess fortunately for me, I don't know, however you want to look at it, I will be leaving a week from tomorrow uh, going on a road trip. So we have maybe like four or five days left of doing Sarah and then we're going to have to call it there and not come back to it for like a month or two because I will be gone and I'll be at an Airbnb and I don't think I want to trust the internet at an Airbnb. So there will be like a month of skilling. But yeah, last video we spent about 40 hours doing Sarah and this is what the collection log is currently looking like. So... All we need is shard 3, man. Could happen any kill, could happen a thousand kills from now, you never know. That is the uh, insanity of RNG. Oh yeah, our current ranking for Sarah for UIM is rank 18. I haven't logged out yet, but it'd still be rank 18. It's still crazy to me though, front page for like a real boss. I feel like that's so cool. But yeah, with that said, we are going to spend as much time as possible over the next few days grinding out as much Sarah as possible, and hopefully we can finish that Godsword Blade. We have to restock on supplies pretty soon, so I'll probably see you back when we have to make more potions. Oh shiz, we got a range level coming in here. There is 95. Okay, as you can see by our inventory, we are now out of the super restores, and we're running low on the ranging pods too, so we're going to go suicide at Hispori, and make some more of those. Luckily, we have 1300 Snapdragons, which gives a lot of potential for the amount of super restores we can make. I think we'll only make like 200 or something. I don't want to have too many left over just in case. I've shown the method before, teleporting to Relica, buying the sardines, and doing the Tower of Life. So that's the method that I'll be doing. Now that we have the mounted Xergs for the POH, uh, we can just teleport right here and run to Forthos, which is a very short run. Um, and you could collect red spiders eggs that way, and if I was just doing one inventory, I would do that. But not for getting a couple hundred, this would be a lot slower. But yeah, there's a few spawns around over here. I didn't go to the desert to make these unfinished potions because we're making so few, um, but we're actually approaching a level, an herb lore, probably the most notorious skill for UIM. We got 85 now, it's very clean. You wake up and you have 2.147 bill in your bank. What do? God, I think I'm so funny. Okay, the uh, super stores are all made, and I realize I didn't show before and after, so here I will show on screen a before and after of our potion stack after 539 zero kills. And as you can see, we actually went up for the prayer pots because I bring two prayer pots per trip, um, but I do plant all the ranner seeds that we get, and I just make the prayer pots as we get the ranner weeds because I don't have any space to keep a stack of ranners. Okay, and now the next potion I want to make is ranging potions because we are almost out of those two. We have 61 doses left, so maybe we'll make like 100 to 150. And we have over a thousand dwarf weeds, so we are set in terms of uh, herbs. And then for the secondary, we need wines of Zamrak. Now, originally, before I had the idea to do God Wars, I just wanted to passively collect wines of Zamrak through doing uh, Calphite Queen tasks. But unfortunately, we did not get to Calphite Queen, so I'm going to be collecting Wines of Zamrak the old-fashioned way. We're going to go to the Chaos Temple, and I was thinking of which route I should go to get there. If you have the Fally Easy Diary, I think it is done, you can use this shortcut so we can teleport to Birthorp using the Jewelry Box and run from there. Or now we have the Mind Altar Teleport in the POH, and I think maybe that's a bit closer. It looks about the same, I don't think it really matters, but I'll probably just end up using the Mind Altar Teleport. I'm sure a lot of you remember this method from like 10, 15 years ago or whatever, but you know, you just pray melee, and you have to telegrab the wines because you take damage if you just try to pick them up. So there's also an upstairs, but we have to actually kill these guys and get the... Uh, get their robes in order to go up, so maybe I'll just kill them in between, hopefully get the robes. And I'll just be going upstairs and downstairs, back and forth, until we 
uh, maybe make like 100 to 200 of these potions. All right, there we go. We have made over 500 doses of ranging potions. So I think we have enough supplies minus the Diamond Bolts E. Um, but in terms of potions, enough potions to last us for another like 500 kills maybe. However, it is getting to that time of day again where I need to AFK while I edit and eat and stuff. Um, usually what I've been doing is going to Ammonite Crabs and just getting some passive range XP with broad bolts. But today we're going to change it up a bit. So as I mentioned before, I do eventually want to get to Zaya runecrafting. Uh, but before we do that, we have to get the Kebos Elite Diary done because you get extra blood runes when you have the uh, Elite Diary done. And I think the only real requirement that we're missing is 90 woodcutting, but we can get 87 and then boost with our dragon axe. And we're at 86 woodcutting right now, 200k to level. So what I think I'm gonna do is just AFK teak trees for like, that should be like five hours or something. Obviously it's not the best use of time that we could be doing right now, but I just wanna have that out of the way and not have to worry about later. I should be training construction with it, but I feel like it'd be weird to start training construction now and then have a whole other video on doing the method later. So we're going to hold off on the construction training until we actually have all the money that we need for 99. We'll probably eventually get very close to 99 woodcutting just through training construction, um, but I don't think we'll get quite to 99. And the teaks that we're going to are right here in Prifnos. We just chill in this spot and AFK and I'll just be dropping the logs. And you cannot make teak logs into arrow shafts, by the way, if you didn't know that. Okay, so I don't use the special attack, the dragon axe, because I just AFK here the whole time anyways. Um, but we're just about to reach 87 woodcutting. I totally forgot that crystal shards were a thing that even existed. Um, but as you can see, we got 39 of them. This probably took me like five hours to get, but I was doing this extremely AFK. I think if you were doing this while paying more attention, you could probably expect maybe like 10 to 15 crystal shards per hour. There we go, there's the level. But I think, I was reading up on these, I think you can use them to overcharge the crystal shield from the 2.5k charges that it would normally be able to hold. So let's test that theory out. Actually, first let's chop the redwood tree just so we can have that task done. Oh yeah, and you can see I've been making some brews along the way too, to a couple birdhouse runs. Okay, so we can boost with the special attack of the dragon axe to boost us up to 90 woodcutting. And now we can chop the redwood. And I'm gonna guess because these take so long to chop, this might take a couple tries of teleporting home and restoring the spec. Oh, we actually got it. There we go. Task is done. There's also a master clue step which requires you to chop a redwood tree. Uh, so luckily we can do that step in the future as well. Okay, as I said, I'm not 100% sure how these crystal shards work, but if we take our crystal shield here, can we just use these on the shield? 39. Wait, we use... How many, how many charges do we have? Four points. Okay, so it does work how I thought it did. Okay, that will last us a long time, dude. I guess that'll save us some money too. Although, you know, the more times you buy the re-enchantment for the shield, the cheaper it'll get. So eventually we probably will have to spend uh, the money to make it cheaper and cheaper again. Because skilling's for nerds, dude. Who wants to do skilling to freaking recharge your shield? Who do I look like? Devious? Okay, so I think what we're going to do now before we go back to Sarah is you can see we're almost out of Diamond Bolts E. So I've shown the process before. I will just see you back once you made probably 2,000 more of them. We'll do that. And here we have 75 fletching, which also means we have base 75s on the UIM because fletching is, for some reason, our lowest skill on the account. All right, it's been uh, just over three hours and we spent uh, almost 600K. And there we go, we have made over 2,000 Diamond Bolts E. We are ready to go back to Sarah's. So let's continue on the grind for the God Sword Shard 3 and we'll do a few trips today. Okay, so as we're running back here, I realized I haven't really shown my inventory specifically, but here's my inventory that I've been using this whole time and it works for me. I probably have a little bit too much brew, but I've definitely used up all the brew I need more sometimes. Helps a lot for when I'm tanking the minions. Um, but yeah, here's all the supplies that we have now. We have plenty of charges on the crystal shield. We have plenty of everything left over now and we are set. We will not have to make any more supplies before I leave on my road trip, so. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I'm really not expecting God's Word Shard 3, honestly, but you never know. Could be any kill. Oh, we're so close. Wait, wait, I really want to get the virtual strength level. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Level 101 strength, which doesn't mean anything. Oh my god. <laughs> ACV number two. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh man, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of money for the main, but what the frick do we do with that? Oh, I was not expecting that at all, but we got a farming level from uh, harvesting this Ranar here. <laughs> all right, Modmark, listen up. I don't ask for too many things. Well, I mean, I kind of do, but still. We're not alking it this time. We are dropping it over to the main. But let this still be considered a sacrifice to Modmark for 
or God Sword Shard 3, please. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Dude, this clue step is so much easier to get to now. You don't have to like run to that square and then jump over, you just click on it. There's no weird pathing here now. Awesome, we got the elite clue from Sarah. Ooh, Hosidia Scarf. We can put that in the POH. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten too many elite unique so far, so that's nice. Oh my god, <laughs> bro, what? Uh, it's a lot of money for bonds. What's that mean, dude? What's that sign of? I don't know what that means. All right, well, that was a pretty interesting day at Sarah. Um, that was the last trip for today, though, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go drop that second, or I guess third ACB over to the main now. <laughs> my man, my dude, Mark. Marcus, Mr. Mr. Marcus, please, please accept. Do you have to let this freaking ACB despawn? Will that will that be a worthy sacrifice? I'm not actually gonna do that, by the way. Um, so I guess we did make uh, 50 mil GP for the main today. So that's a uh, that's something. That's something. <laughs> All right, we are uh, off to Ammonite Crabs though. See you back tomorrow. Okay, so I caught an Eclectic Impling and I got a Wild Pie from it. And a Wild Pie boosts your Slayer plus four. And we need 95 Slayer to kill Hydras. And while you can't kill the Hydra boss off task, you can kill regular Hydras off task. And killing a regular Hydra is what you have to do for the diary. So right here, we can boost 95 Slayer to kill a Hydra. It's really not hard to make wild pies, but I figure because we have it, may as well get that task done. So I'm gonna quickly buy the Boots of Stone right here and we'll get that task done. All right, very easy. There's the uh, elite task done. Look at all that beautiful prayer XP. Okay, and then we have five easy clues to open up. Oh, oh, we got Master. Greenman's ALM is not really an item I think any UIM would ever have, unfortunately. So with that said, we are back to another fun day of killing Sarah and getting ACBs and making a lot of money for the main. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess like at this point we could expect one by 590kc, but damn dude, holy crap. Wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's a really nice drop to have. We just, uh, we don't have space right now, so we have to get rid of something in here. I've been sitting here for a while, just staring at the looting bag, trying to figure out what to do. Um, we have to suicide first off to get these items out of the bag. I think we're gonna get rid of the limper roots because we don't have any quarms to even make any super strengths with at the moment. And when we do eventually make super strengths, which would be for super combats, we'll easily be able to get a lot of limper roots because master farmers give a lot of limper seeds. And yeah, I mean, 1800 is not that many anyways. Dude, I had no idea the limp roots were worth that much, but that is 1.6 mil GP worth of limper roots going over to the main. They're really like not even that hard to get. I'm just telling myself that, but I, I honestly believe they're really not that hard to get. Also, take a look at the freaking collection log, dude. It looks cool, like, how filled out this is. Um, I mean, minus the shard 3 and the pet, but, like, it looks pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice so far. Okay, so we hit 600kc this trip. This is the last kill of the trip, by the way. Uh, yeah, we hit 600 a little bit up here. Um, but I also got 10 kills this trip without any potion drops. It is kind of annoying doing this though because I just one tick flick the whole time while I'm fighting Sarah and uh, it hurts my wrist a bit so maybe it's not the best thing I should be doing but nice to know that it's at least possible to get a 10 kill trip without any potion drops. By the way, we're now about double the drop rate of getting any individual shard. Alright, well that was the last kill of Sarah for today. It's been a pretty successful day, I think. I mean, we got the Sarah hilt, so I mean, that's a, that's a pretty nice drop to get. Unfortunately, it's still not the thing we're looking for, but better luck tomorrow with the Shard 3, right? Uh, we're gonna head off to Amalite Crabs, and we'll probably get the level there tonight. Uh, probably get 96 range, so see you back with that. Oh, oops, uh, there's 96 range. That's uh, it's a lot of XP to next level. <laughs> All right, you know the deal. We got some more easy caskets to open up here. I think that's a new unique, actually. The Powdered Wig. Ooh, nice, and then Bob shirt. 
All right, well, today we are uh, going back to Sarah, of course, and hopefully we have some okay luck today. Just to be sure, let's see, new and new, nice. Hey, Sarah Doman Sword, that is the third one now. <laughs> All right, I guess this is a bit more of a convenient way to drop it over to the main, <laughs> the Sarah Sword. Oh, man. All right, well, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> keep going strong. Let's get that chart three. <laughs> How many times have I said that this video? Okay, from this last trip, we got a hard clue. Nice. Whoa, another Sira sword. <laughs> what? Nice. That's, that's more money for the main. <laughs> Yo, this has been a record trip for me. So, oh, wow, prayer pots. Um, we got 12 kills this trip. Things just went so well. It doesn't usually work out like this, but yeah. Also wrapping up the trip with uh, 666KC. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> And of course, we've got another Sierra Sword to get dropped over to the main. That looks so beautiful on the ground, kind of. This is a little check-in for the collection log. This is where we're currently standing at, so yeah. There's God Sword Shard 1. That is the uh, fourth God Sword Shard 1 now. <laughs> all right, all right. It'll happen when it happens, you know? You know, we just gotta, we just gotta keep on going with it. And it's gonna happen eventually when we least expect it that is actually itself very unexpected right okay so where are we at with uh shards we have one and two and then one so that is gonna get elk yeah 150k elk that is pretty good <laughs> well there's another day of sarah complete still no sign of the god sword shard three of course uh probably can only do like one or two more days before i have to start getting ready for my trip um so if we don't get it in the next day or two then we're gonna have to put it off for a while but you know the deal, back to the crabs. Okay, here's the easy caskets. And we have that page already. I decided I think what we'll do is just keep on going until we use up all these diamond bolts -y. And then we'll call it for Sarah for like four to six weeks. So we still got a few more chances to get that God Sword Shard, but definitely not expecting it. Oh yeah, they had the tinted hit splats today. I was so confused for a second, but um, when you attack a monster, your hit splats are bright red, and the ones that aren't yours are tinted dark, which you can toggle right here in the uh, settings. Well, there's a uh, Ceridoin's Light number two, not the drop we're looking for, but that's a uh, nice kind of elk, kind of. Okay, well, this trip of Sarah, we hit the big 700 KC. Wait, I'm kind of curious. What happens if you try to consume the Sarah Light after you have already before? You've already been enlightened. Perhaps you could give it to someone else. Oh, what a great idea. I should just trade someone. I'm going to elk that. That's a, uh, what is that? 20k elk. Ooh, thank you. That has to be a good sign, right? Yes. And no, I do not want a staff of light. Wow, I just found out. We just capped out the law runes in the rune pouch. We have uh, almost 16k, so we can't even pick those up, those seven on the ground. God Sword Shard 2. I mean, at least we can... um. We can make that second God Sword Shard 1 and 2 combined and be closer to a second blade. Also, dude, look at the freaking Ranar seeds we got from this trip. That's worth like 430k. Alright, well, here we are back at the anvil combining God Sword Shards 1 and 2. So, we now have two God Sword Shards 1 and 2. I guess that means you kind of have to grind out God Sword Shard 3, not once, but twice now. I'm also going to sell a couple thousand of these law runes to the shop here because we won't be building any more teleports in the POH for a while. So we don't need any more law runes. I'd rather have space um, in the rune pouch to get more law runes from Sarah. And if we take a look at the loot tracker here, we've gotten 4k laws from Sarah and then a few hundred from each of the minions too. Yeah, so we've gotten like 5k law runes in total from doing Sarah. That's a new one. I've never seen anyone training magic by teleporting to Trollheim over and over, especially because you need two law runes. And you don't really get any extra magic XP for this spell specifically. So uh, very, very interesting. Hey, there's a Ceridoman sword. <laughs> Yo, I didn't think this would be possible, but we just got a 13 kill trip. We just got really lucky kills and some really lucky drops. And uh, we made it happen. And then as for the Sarah sword that we have here, I think we gotta, gotta change things up if we want to make stuff happen. So this time we truly have to make a sacrifice. Farewell. All right, well, that was the last trip for today. Um, we probably do two more trips tomorrow and then we're gonna call it. So now we are off to the crabs and this will be the last night of doing Ammonite crabs. So we better make a count. We're, uh, 
sort of close to a range level. Hey, there's 97 range. Damn, dude. I'm pretty sure when we first started killing Sarah, we started with 88 range. So it's pretty cool to see how far we've come. All right, good morning. Got some easy caskets. And today will be the last day, or last two trips actually, of doing Sarah. So we did reach 400 easy clues done. So less than 100 more, and we can get the large spade, which is something that I kind of want to have on this account. Hey, there's a Sarah light. At least we got a drop before we wrapped up here, right? This is the last trip, so nice to see something at least. Nice 20k alk there. Yes, goodbye Sarah lights. Okay, so this was the last trip, and this was like the sweatiest I ever went. We got no potion drops, and I got a 12 kill trip. So I'm very, very proud of myself. I'm really happy to see how far I've come since starting Sarah. Yeah, okay. No share three, but... You know what? I had a great time doing this. Yeah, let's teleport out of here. We'll go back to the POH and we'll look at some final numbers here. I was looking back at the clips and I saw that we started Sarah 15 days ago and we're almost at 800 KC now. Um, let's take a look at the collection log too because I'm sure all of you would love to see uh, all the drops you've gotten. Um, we haven't really gotten ridiculously lucky with anything. I mean, the, the ACBs are pretty lucky, but Everything else is pretty much on the drop rate. We should have expected 8 shards in total in this KC, so maybe a little bit unlucky, but not really. And then looking at the drop rate for just one specific unique shard, which in this case, God Sword Shard 3, uh, we're about 2.6 times the drop rate for that. But you know what? I've gotten way too lucky everywhere else, so we were bound to go slightly dry for something somewhere. I guess we went a little bit dry for Zora, but that's a good place to go dry. Going dry God Wars is not the best place you want to go dry, but we actually made a little bit more money than I thought. We probably profited a couple mil after doing Sarah overall. Speaking of profiting, we also profited nature runes. Um, I think we started with under a thousand, and as you can see here, we have over 5,000. Um, and that's from the spiritual mages. Whenever I kill them to get KC, uh, they drop these pretty frequently, and other runes too, of course. But a lot of natures have been really building up, even after using Bones to Peaches, because Bones to Peaches uses up a couple nature runes. And then if you want to pause anywhere, uh, looking at all the KCs of the boss and all these minions, and for the spiritual mages, we got 25 dragon boots, which is 7.45 mil for the main. And there's all the me runes and the nature runes and the nature talismans. And then we profited quite a few prayer pots as well, just from the Ranner seed drops and the Ranner weed drops that Sarah drops. Um, that is worth 17.2 mil, damn. And then if we log off, let's take a look at the high scores. So for UIM Zilliana high scores ranking, we are now rank 11 coming for yo ass manis and i highly suspect that once we come back to sarah in like five or six weeks we'll probably make it into the top 10 but yeah unfortunately at this point we don't have enough diamond bolts e to guarantee that we can do another full trip i know that we got 799 kc and not 800 but it's the show two points first point being that it's always one more kill one more kill one more trip that's an issue that i kind of have with a lot of things in this game but yeah 799 and not 800 was very specifically calculated actually um i wanted to show that there's no rush and that the journey is what's most important, not the destination. There's no rush, we will get there eventually. I wasn't really getting burned out from Sarah, but it was getting kind of, I don't know, like boring doing the same thing over and over every single day for the last 15 days. So it'll be a nice change of pace to do a lot of AFK stuff while I go on my road trip, which I'm actually leaving in like three days. So yeah, today I have to start like planning stuff out to do and packing and doing all that stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, although by the time you see this video, that will probably already have like happened. I'll probably be back maybe already by then. But if you didn't see any IRL videos on that, I'm sure there's going to be a lot on the IRL channel, which is linked in every video description. But anyways, once we come back to Sarah in like five or six weeks, it'll be nice having more of like a fresh mindset doing Sarah. And I'll have more fun once we come back to it. In total, we spent about 130 hours doing Sarah. If you know what I'm saying, boys, don't tell my girlfriend. <laughs> and then just in this video alone, we spent about 50 hours at Sarah. But you know, as I said, you can't always be lucky literally everywhere because RNG will always balance out in the end. Next video though, we have to do the Kebos Hard and Elite Diary. And then I will set the account up to do AFK Zaya runecrafting for a long time because we still need a lot of money for 99 construction. And I think that'll be a nice AFK way to earn all that money while also working towards diary requirements that we still need to meet for all those uh, runecrafting requirements. 
With all that being said though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy the journey and I will see you again next time.